<laughs> you can, oh, do you need to go to the bathroom? Oh, okay. <laughs> you should see me in my old days when I used to model. It's like blah, 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 blah. and then camera, leather furniture. Mm. Just need to be able to do my hair flip after those. Oh, look. <laughs> when it comes to designing your dream home, it's not all about achieving a visually stunning environment. It's also about ensuring that your space aligns perfectly with your lifestyle, reflecting your personality and making sure it feels like a home. And sometimes it can seem impossible to do without breaking the bank. Part of an interior designer's job is value engineering, which in simpler terms means getting the same look for less. And this can be applied across all fronts of a renovation with a way of sourcing. These are my best kept tricks on how to save money during any renovation. Welcome back to my channel. If you've not met me before, my name is Phoenix Gray, AKA Design Daddy, and this channel is all about interior design. Regardless if you're renting or renovating, I'm here to help. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Mr. Phoenix Gray, where you can see all my daily tips and tricks. We only do just the tip here. <laughs> First on the docket is natural stone. When it comes to natural stone, marble is undoubtedly luxurious, but it can be quite expensive and its high price tag can sometimes be a major deterrent for some on a budget. Don't worry, these are my favorite alternatives to get a similar look for less. One of the greatest tips on this is opting for a porcelain slab versus a marble slab. A good porcelain can mimic the appearance of a natural stone at the fraction of a cost, making it a fantastic alternative for countertops and backsplashes. With the way that printing technology has been advancing these days, the printers are able to replicate a very intricate and designing texture found in genuine marble, allowing you to achieve a luxurious ambience without the extravagant expense. Because let's be honest, not everyone has a budget to be spending ten to $20,000 per marble slab if you want those really beautiful ones. On the plus side, porcelain is extremely durable and resilient, and it is highly resistant to scratches, stains, and moisture, unlike marble, which is porous and prone to stains and etching, which does come up with that luxurious price tag, you also have that high maintenance upkeep. This not only ensures a longer lifespan for your surfaces, but also reduces the need for maintenance over time when it comes to using porcelain over marble. The cons of using marble is that the edges can be prone to chipping, so it is more delicate. So please, if you are using porcelain, have this extra caution when using as an alternative that if you do have a busy kitchen, porcelain may not be the best choice for you. Porcelain fabrication costs can also add up extremely quickly, so make sure you find a fabricator that is well suited to using porcelain and doesn't charge you through the roof on this because porcelain is a more delicate fabrication in terms of the slab and the installation process of it. So if you do not find a fabricator that works well and has a great portfolio to do this, it may not turn out the way that you want it to be. While there is no denying the timeless beauty of hardwood floors, they can be quite pricey and a significant investment. I will always recommend a hardwood over anything in my designs due to its longevity, but if you're on a budget, the technology behind Luxury Vinyl Laminate or LVL is so good you can barely tell the difference between the two. LVL offers a vast array of styles that mimic the look of hardwood that can be a much lower price tag if you're comparing the two. But aside from the aesthetic appeal, LVL often offers practical benefits that make it an ideal choice for your renovation over hardwood. Its durability surpasses that of traditional hardwood and it resists scratches, dents, and stains, making it an ideal floor option for high traffic areas like living rooms and hallways, especially if you have pets. The last thing you want to have happen is a flood in an area and you have hardwood, which will be completely ruined. While LVL has a much higher moisture and water resistant to save you the headache of damage down the line to having to replace the entire hardwood floors. With LVL, you can usually pop them up and replace the odd piece if you don't need to make the whole commitment with any damage done. Hardwood does come with more maintenance and a higher price tag overall. So if you do like that carefree lifestyle, I want you to think of that budget-friendly alternative. LVL would be your best option to combine elegance and practicality. Now let's talk about lighting. Lighting plays a crucial role in transforming the ambience of your space. And by incorporating accent and ambient lighting, you can really create a captive and inviting atmosphere. Rather than relying solely on the not so 
pretty overhead lighting, consider layering with various light sources to strategically place throughout your home to really give you that beautiful layer look. In the bedroom, for example, opt for adding in pendant lighting above nightstands, even with a wall sconce. It's gonna give you that extra flare where table lights would not give you. This also clears up so much table space in those areas that typically don't have much room to begin with. I would recommend the same for any bathrooms. Let's face it, there are barely any beautiful looking vanity wall sconces that are above the mirror. So having one on each side really allows for better illumination and they're more fun to have something that gives you an artistic flair in terms of lighting instead of your standard builder grade light. I understand that this isn't really a value engineering perspective, but adding in those electrical boxes and having the wires there are well worth it in the long run during your renovation. Although they may add that significant cost down at the end, it's something you are honestly not going to regret because I recommend it for every design that I do and I have never had anyone complain about those front-facing lights that add so much extra heightened value to your space. Technology has also advanced so much that smart homes and plugs are becoming the standard in new builds and renovations. If you don't have the option of building or incorporating any smart systems into your home, there are smart plug options out there. You can schedule specific times for your lights to turn on and off automatically, creating a seamless and effortless way to set the desired vibe in a space in different times throughout the day. The amount of people I see that have lights all over their home and don't use them because the inconvenience of having to reach all the way down to turn them on and off is comical. With the incorporation of smart plugs and these apps now takes away that headache so you can actually enjoy the ambient light in your space of having them automatically turn on and off so you really get to enjoy them at all times. The right mix of lighting can really elevate the mood and the function of every room, ensuring it not only looks beautiful, but also an atmosphere that feels inviting and cozy. Value engineering presents a fun opportunity to embrace sustainability and creativity by reusing and renewing existing items in your home. Rather than rushing to buy everything new, take a moment to consider how you can repurpose and revamp what you already own. It's incredible how simple an update can breathe new life to a tired piece of furniture or decor. For instance, repolstering a couch can work wonders in transforming the appearance, allowing to explore a wide range of fabric choices to match your style and taste. Whether you're up for a bold statement piece or a subtle neutral hue, reupholstering gives you the freedom and customization for your furniture to best suit your unique style vision. And let's face it, sofas are expensive these days. So let's take one existing one that has good bones and if there's no reason to get rid of it, you have a reason to repurpose it. Also, I bet you didn't know that you can give your leather firm leather furniture. <laughs> I also bet you didn't know that you can give leather furniture a fresh and updated look by using leather paint or stain. This solution allows you to change the color of your leather pieces without the need of expensive replacement. And let's be real, leather is extremely expensive and it is an investment piece if you have one of these high piece furnitures. With the right technique and high quality leather paint, you can condition to change up the piece to match your new style. Just remember that you can always go darker, but you cannot go lighter. So keep that in mind if you are staining this leather. Depending on the furniture pieces you have, if they are real wood, you can give the transformation to these as well with sanding and staining to give you a more natural look depending on the style. You can also opt in for painting out one of these pieces that aren't solid wood as an affordable way to really rejuvenate old furniture. While we're on the topic of refinishing, sometimes kitchen updates are completely out of budget. When refinishing cabinet faces with paint, it really offers an excellent opportunity to revamp your cooking area and infuse it with a whole new life and a beautiful look without breaking the bank. I wouldn't recommend doing this as a DIY unless you're a great painter. It can really be challenging to do this yourself and not have it come out with any street marks from a roller brush. There are some great companies out there specifically catering to doing this, where they take all your cabinet door and fronts to their shop, spray them out perfectly, and then come back to do the carcass of frames to match it so it all looks completely seamless. This makes it an appealing option for those looking to enhance their living space without going through a major renovation. Because let's face it, this is gonna be one of your most expensive renovations you can do in a home. And there are so many budget options to really update a kitchen space, especially when the bones of the kitchen are good already. If you do undertake a project like this, it's really important to carefully choose a paint color that complements your existing decor and sets the desired vibe. Whether you opt for a fresh and airy white paint, cozy, warm taupe or a bold and dramatic navy. The color you select will set the tone for the entire kitchen and this is a commitment. Additionally, another really great thing to consider is adding in new hardware to completely 
update the appearance. Swapping out those handles and knobs with a more contemporary and stylish options combined with the fresh coat of paint can really elevate the overall aesthetic and make a significant impact for the final result. Gone are the days of those dull and dated cabinets. Instead, you have this beautiful and functional kitchen that reflects your personal style and makes you fall in love with your home all over again. So if you're seeking a cost-effective and rewarding way to revamp your kitchen or any other cabinetry-filled area in your home, refinishing or repainting is the way to go. Another suggestion to value engineer your renovation is to opt for an MDF instead of solid wood for your trim. MDF serves as a cost-effective alternative to solid wood trim while really delivering a polished and refined finish. It's smooth and the consistent surface makes it a dream to work with, allowing for flawless paint application and easy customization to match your interior's color scheme. Whether you desire a clean and contemporary look or a more traditional and ornate style, MDF trim can adapt to your design vision seamlessly. I recommend MDF in almost all my renovations as the paint grade options for this end up being painted anyways, so you can really save a good chunk of change here. The beauty of MDF lies in its versatility, making it suitable for a wide range of applications throughout your home, from baseboards to crown moldings to doors and window casing. MDF trim really enhances the overall aesthetic of your space without the higher price tag of solid wood options. Plus, MDF trim is readily available in various shapes and sizes, offering you the flexibility to create the perfect trim style to complement your interior design theme without much lead time taking on what you're looking for. By opting for MDF trim, you can achieve a seamless and sophisticated look that elevates the elegance of your home without compromising the quality or aesthetics. It's affordable and the ease of customization make it a top choice for budget-conscious homeowners seeking to add that extra touch of refinement and charm to all their living spaces. When it when it comes to bathroom and kitchen tiles, regrouting is a game changer for revitalization for your space without a complete tile overhaul. If your tiles are in good condition and you still like them, but the grout is starting to show signs of wear and discoloration, you don't have to rush to replace the entire tiled area. Instead, you can opt for regrouting as a cost-effective and environmentally friendly solution to renew your surfaces. Regrouting involves removing the old discolored grout and replacing it with fresh grout, instantly changing the look of your tiles to have it pristine and new. You can also change the color of your grout, which is another really great alternative if you want to completely change up the style of how your tiles look. The process for this is relatively straightforward and can be done by a skilled DIYer or a professional depending on your preference. By opting for regrouting, you can not only save money compared to all the expenses of replacing tiles, but you can recontribute to reducing waste. I will usually recommend this for renovations where we just want to get those spaces and those areas a little facelift and replacing those plumbing fixtures. That way we can use the budget for the tiles in other areas that need it most. Avoiding unnecessary tile replacement means fewer materials discarded, making a more sustainable sustainable and eco-conscious choice for your renovation project. Ugh, look at that, we're so sustainable. Trust me, I get it, renovations are no small task and with the price point attached to them, it can hinder you from wanting to actually get started on a project. By making savvy choices and considering these alternatives, you can really create a beautiful space without exceeding your budget. Remember, a well-designed home doesn't mean it has to come with a hefty price tag. Be sure to like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on all my socials at Mr. Phoenix Gray. Just remember, if you ever are second guessing yourself, just ask, what would Design Daddy do? Fuck, look at that timing. <laughs>